Hello and welcome. In this video, we are, we are going to solve a analyze a vapor compression refrigeration system. I have already transcribed the schematic into the TS diagram. So one to T is our one to two is our isentropic compressor. Two to three is the condenser. We'll call the pressure in the condenser side PC. And then from three to four, we have an isenthalpic expansion process. Enthalpy remains constant here. And from four to one, we have the evaporator. This is the evaporator pressure, PE. The evaporator pressure is supplied. The condenser pressure is supplied. Fluid is R134A, mass flow rate is known. And we, we are asked to find the tonnage of the system, which means what is Q dot in in the specific unit of a ton of refrigeration system. We know Q dot in should be in kilowatt, and it's just a conversion from kilowatt to tonnage. A, a ton is about 3.51 kilowatt or something like that. We are also asked to find the compressor power, W dot C, which could be in kilowatt. Okay, so let's start the problem. We'll take uh, the compressor and the evaporator pressure as parameters so that we can add a parametric study after we solve the problem. So I have already launched the app, but let me go back to show you where the app resides. Obviously, it's a open steady system. So we go through open steady specific branch, vapor power, uh, sorry, in vapor compression refrigeration, and the PC model should launch the app. The fluid is R134A. We go to the IO panel, and let's declare the condenser pressure, PC equals uh, a 1 MPA is 1000 kPa, remember it has to be in SI units, and pressure of evaporator, we'll call that PE, is uh, 0.15 MPA, which is 150 kPa. Okay, so these are our two parameters, uh, and their calculate registers their values. So now state one is the evaporator exit state or the condenser uh, the compressor inlet state so p1 must be equals p of evaporator the mass flow rate is given to us 0 0.04 um, the what else is supplied at state 1 the uh, at state 1 x must be equals 1 because at the evaporator exit for an ideal cycle the vapor must be saturated vapor. So that is our state one. At the condenser, at the compressor exit, the pressure must be raised to the condenser pressure isentropically, therefore H2 equals S1. And mass flow rate must be constant throughout the systems, M dot one. Mm. That completes the state. Now to find calculate state three, we could go and start from scratch, or we could spawn state two, duplicate it, copy it to make state three, because some of these things are common. M dot three is M dot one, P three equals P C. And we know X must be equals, you know, in the case entropy is not the same, but quality must be zero at the exit of the condenser. State three is our condenser exit. And finally, State four is the state four is after the expansion valve. What happens in state four is that the pressure must be equals P evaporator, pressure drops to evaporator pressure uh, in an isenthalpic way, H4 equals H3. And of course, M dots are equal, M dot one, and that completes the calculation of state four. If we go to the graphics panel, we should see something similar, uh, the TS diagram, one, two, three, four. Uh, entropy actually slightly increases, it's not clear. In the, in, in the diagram that we plotted here, I exaggerated that, four is way to the right, but as you can see, uh, even in, in the correct diagram, you can, if you see closely, four is slightly to the right of three. Okay, now that we calculated all the states and they look reasonable, that let's go to the device panel. And device one is our compressor, operates between one and two. And in a compressor, it's 
<coughs> adiabatic. So that calculates the, the compressor power, negative 1.58 kilowatt. 2 to 3 is our condenser. In the condenser, heat is lost to the atmosphere. In, the, in 3 to 4, we have an expansion valve. There is no work. And Q dot must turn out to be close to 0, exactly 0. Okay, so that means we are on the right track. And finally, here is the cooling load. From 4 to 1 is our evaporator. This will determine the tonnage of the system. 4 to 1, there is no work transfer. So 5.28 kilowatt is our cooling load. If we convert it to ton of refrigeration, so this is our answer. So we found what is, the Q, what is Q dot 4. And of course, we could go to the cycle panel. And because the cycle is complete, we could pick our answers up here too. For instance, you can find Q dot E is our desired answer in kilowatt, but you can switch it to tonnage. Uh, w dot in is the work that has gone in. This is the compressor work. And all the other quantities you can find. What is the maximum temperature in the cycle, minimum temperature in the cycle, etc. Or more importantly, what is the COP? But notice that the COP, uh, yeah, COP is about 3.33 is given here for this particular cycle. So what will happen, suppose, if we increase the condenser temperature? You know from the Carnot analysis that uh, COP should go down if the difference between the cold and hot temperature increases. So if we raise the condenser temperature, condenser pressure, then this temperature will increase, the temperature at which uh, condensation occurs. So therefore, difference between Tc and Th is being increased. If you recall, the Carnot efficiency is is something like Carnot COP, something like for refrigeration system is Tc divided by Th minus Tc. I know it's not a Carnot system, but if you somehow increase the difference between Th and Tc, you expect the COP to go down. So let's just check that. Right now the COP is 3.33. What will happen if I raise the condenser pressure? Okay, to do so, I'm going to go and just arbitrarily raise the condenser pressure. Let's say instead of 1,000, we say it's 1,500. Recall that the condenser, uh, the COP was how much? 3.33. Let, let's do a super calculate and check. From 3.33, it goes down to 2.22. So as we predicted, the COP has come down. Likewise, you can do any number of what-if studies using this what app. If you put the, the suitable parameters in the I.O. panel, uh, that's it. Then you can very easily change uh, the variable and see its effect on overall quantities.